Hi everyone. So this is another type of special graphs, which is also known as triangle bar diagram. So the question given here are quite easy, but the only thing which you will face difficulty with is I guess in reading the diagram or the graph. Okay. So if you have not faced such kind of charts earlier, then it and it is new to you, then you might be facing some difficulty. So the main major concern is this only how to read it. So let's see. Okay. So they have given the direction in which direction to read which uh, section D I L R should be read like this, verbal should be read like this, and quant should be read like this side. Okay. Like quant is parallel to x axis, so these are the one which should be quant representing quants. Okay. These lines. All right. Apart from that, they mentioned that this point, this point is. Hundred. Okay, so let's start. So this this point is hundred. So when you are going far from it, first thing is count how many lines are there. One. This is one point, two point, three point, four point, five point, six point. One of the points will be zero. Okay, and rest five points goes to hundred. This means hundred by five. That is nothing but twenty. So the gap is of twenty. So it starts from hundred. Then here it will be eighty. Here sixty. Here forty. Here twenty and here zero. Okay, these lines, this, 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 and so on. Okay, so what it means is at this particular point the value of quant is nothing but hundred. Okay, now let's read the question first. Following triangle bar diagram represents percentage of students appearing for CAT who like quant, DLR, and verbal in three states: Rajasthan, Punjab, and Tamil Nadu. Okay, so this is percentage of students. So this point at this point hundred percent of the students. Like quant at this complete line here also, here also, here also, here also, here also in this complete line, eighty percent of the students like quants. In this complete line, sixty percent of the students like quants. In this complete line, forty percent. Here twenty and here zero percent. None of them like quants. Okay. Now similarly, let's read for verbal. Verbal is going in this direction. Okay. I will change the color of the marker. So that you can read. So verbal is going like this. Okay. So these are the lines. These lines is represented by verbal. Okay. Now here it is hundred. It means again same thing one two three four five. So gap of twenty. So this is eighty. This complete is sixty. This complete is forty. This complete is twenty. Later you don't get confused. So I will just mark it. It's like this. Okay. This point is. Zero, like this. All right. Same. I will mark for blue also. It is like this. Now what is left? D I L R. Okay. So D I L R direction is this, like this, isn't it? It means it, these are the lines represented by D I L R. Or one second. Let me do one thing. Because if D L R I can't represent this side, so what I will do is these verbal I will represent this side. Okay, so so verbal I deleted from this side, and I am going to represent this side. This is eighty, this is sixty, this is forty, this is twenty, and this is zero. Now the complete line is same. It doesn't matter whether I represent here or here. Both are same only, right? It represent the same line. Now. I did it so that I can get here the space for D I L R because D I L R is going like this, right? So now I will get space here. So let's go for D I L R now. So this point is nothing but hundred for D I L R. So of course this will be eighty. This will be sixty. This will be forty. This is twenty for D I L R, and this is zero for D I L R. All right. So I guess now you are clear with the at least the axis what has been given, how to uh, find when it is at the corners. Now we will have to figure out what will happen, like how is the points inside this complete triangle is it it is representing these sections. One more thing was mentioned in the question that this is Punjab, this is Rajasthan, and this is Tamil Nadu P R T. Okay, now so total number of students appearing is also mentioned. Okay, fine, fine. So We need to find out what are these points for. So these are nothing but mentioned as states. So some students are appearing 
in the CAT exam from these states Punjab, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu. Now we have to find from that state how many students liked quant, how many starts verbal and how many starts uh, how many like DILR. So first thing whenever you encounter such special sets or special graphs first thing you should do is see it will be very much difficult to read the data from this graph correct. So what we will do is we will draw a, uh, another uh, in another form which is very much readable. So the best form is tables correct. So let's draw one table. So DILR, let's start with quant, DILR and verbal. Okay. Okay. Now three states, right? So those are nothing but Punjab, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu and total right fine let's start so first let's start reading with Tamil Nadu so this point when you see for quant what is the direction for quant like this correct so draw a line like that only let me change the color so like this what is it coming to 80 right so for Tamil Nadu quant value is nothing but 80% Okay. First, let me write the percentage. This is eighty percent. Similarly, now when you have to check for verbal, you have to draw like this. So, like this for verbal. Now you can notice verbal here it is hundred, eighty, sixty, forty, twenty, and here it is zero, and it is somewhat between them zero and twenty. So it is ten percent. Verbal is nothing but ten percent. Similarly, let's try for DILR. Direction is like this. So here also like this. Now you can notice for DLR 180, 60, 40, 20 and 0 again between 20 and 0. Right? So it is nothing but 10%. Okay. Now you can see 80 plus 10 percent is nothing but 100. It means 80% of the students of Tamil Nadu like quants, 10% like DLR and 10% like verbal. Alright? Now we also know that how many students are there in Tamil Nadu appearing for CAT, R, P and T. So this is 300. If 80% of them like quant means what is 80%? 10% is 30, 80% is 30 into 8 that is 240. Here 10% will be 30 and here also 10% will be 30. Or maybe I can remove the percentage and only write number of students. So yeah, 240, 30 and 30. Let's again go for R that is Rajasthan now. So for quants, for quants it is nothing but 40% and 40% of which one Rajasthan is nothing but 600. So 40% of 600 is nothing but 64 or 240. Let's move on to DILR. DILR is 0, 20, 40, 60%. You can see 60% of the students like DILR. Correct? No, wrong. We are reading it wrong. 60% is for quants this one DLR we have represented as orange so 180, 60, 40 40% of the students are liking DLR and 40% again is how much 64 is 240 next uh, verbal so like this so this is 0, 80, 60, 40 here it is 20 20% of the students are liking verbal that is nothing but 16 to 120 Okay, let's move on to P that is Punjab now here. So for quants, this one that is 20% and 20% of how much? 450, 45 to the 90 for quants. All right, let's move on to verbal like this. So this is 80, this is 60, this is 40. Between 40 and 60, it is 50%. 50% of 450. Okay, so 22.5, 45, 2 is 45, so 225 here. This is we are writing for verbal, right? Verbal is 225. Let's check DILR now, like this. So DILR like this will be between 20 and 40, that is 30%. 30% of 450. 45 to that is 90. And 90 plus 45 will be 135. So now our table is complete. Okay, one more thing is left, that is total. Let's do that also. So 24 to that is 48, 480, and 90 is 570. Here, 240 plus 100 is 340 plus 30 is 370 plus 30 is 400, 405. 
Okay, okay. Now our table is complete. Now we can start doing questions. So always whenever you encounter such special uh, diagram or special graph type sets, convert it to tables. This is the simplest way, way to solve it ahead. All right, let's move on to the questions. The first question is which section student like the most when all three states taken together? Okay. So which section students are liking most here? It will be a comma. Which section students like the most? when all three states taken together so quant 570 dlr 405 bubble 375 which section quants so answer for first question is nothing but quants move on to second question the state in which students who like dlr is 10 percent of the students appearing for cat from these three states okay how many students are appearing for cat first of all either you can count here 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 and add it or you can add these three also from all states this one is simpler to add 600 plus 400 thousand 1300 1350 so 1350 students are total appearing for cat what's its 10 percent its 10 percent is nothing but 135 so dilr which uh, state 135 students are there p punjab so answer for second question is nothing but punjab okay now we have to move on to third question so the third question is if 270 more students appearing for cat migrate from other states to these three keeping the percentage of overall students liking different sections from all three states same as before okay so 270 more students are coming and the overall number of students who are liking different different sections are still in the same ratio so right now what ratio they are in 570 is to 405 is to 375 now 270 more will come some here some here some here and still after that ratio will remain the same okay then percentage of students who like dilr in all three states to that of total students is okay so how many are liking dilr right now 405 all right so what will be the ratio 405 upon what is the total here 1370 1350 sorry so 1350 in 200 now after uh, after we add some these students still the ratio will be seen so we can directly calculate on this one only okay so 405 by 1350 into 100 1010 1 into 3 is 3 13 3 is 39 15 left 5 3 is 15 so this is 3 times 3 into 10 is 30 so answer for third question is nothing but 30 percent dlr is 30 percent of overall so number of students who like dlr is 30 percent all right so this was of course very very easy question only major concern here was of course how to read the data from these kinds of graphs so i hope now you are clear with this and maybe even now if uh, uh, a new graph is given you might face some difficulty when you are doing it on your own but with a little bit of practice i guess you will be able to do it now correct okay so in case you have any doubt you can ask me in comments